It is Wednesday, February 6, 2013. We are live in the Wall Street Journal's newsroom in New York. Today on WSJ Lunch Break, the Boy Scouts of America will delay a decision on whether to lift its ban on gay scouts and leaders until May. Here to explain what this means is Wall Street Journal's Jeffrey Fowler. He is in San Francisco. Jeff, should we be reading into this that in any way they are leaning toward not lifting the ban because of this delay? I think um, the way to interpret this is that there has been civil war in the Boy Scouts over this issue. Um, there's been, this has been an issue for the Scouts over the last decade, but ever since last summer when the Scouts made a public statement that they were going to reaffirm their, their ban on gay and lesbian Scouts and uh, Scout leaders, um, the, 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 the organization has been in turmoil. They've been facing uh, religious groups that, uh, on both sides of the issue that say that they're upset with it. They've been facing sponsors who say that you know, put, this puts them in violation of their own standards. So the organization has really been trying to figure this out. And the idea that they, their executive board was going to vote on it this week took a lot of people still by surprise, a lot of those stakeholders, everybody from the religious organizations to, uh, to, uh, to former scouts themselves. So I think they heard a lot from people with a lot of opinions on this this week, and they just decided that they needed to, to, to make this bigger. They needed to have a... Um, have a, a larger discussion, bring in more people, and even bring it to an even wider vote at the Scouts uh, annual meeting coming up in May. Uh, now, that's that's one view on it. The, the other view is that the Scouts are once again punting on an issue that they have to confront at some point. Uh, that's certainly the view from uh, gay rights activists today. Tell us about two of the men, uh, two of the board members who have been driving the push to lift this long-standing ban, Jeff. So uh, we haven't heard a whole lot from inside that boardroom. The scouts are pretty good at uh uh, keeping things together and, uh, and not speaking out of turn. Uh, but we know that uh, both the CEO of, uh, of AT&T and Ernst & Young um, are on the Scouts Executive Board and have made indications publicly before that they, uh, that they feel that the Scouts need to address this and be more welcoming to gay and lesbian people like their corporations do as a policy. Uh, so we, we have heard some sense that they are they're helping to drive this. I know there's been some discussion about whether or not if this ban was, was lifted, if they'd perhaps let this just be determined on a local or regional level as opposed to a national one. What kind of complications, Jeff, could that present if they did go that route? Uh, a lot of complications. Uh, in, the, in the year 2000, the Supreme Court said that the Boy Scouts were allowed to do, discriminate against uh, gay and lesbian people to keep them out of their organization, uh, essentially because it was a core tenet, core belief of the Scouts. But if the organization now is basically saying that, uh, that it's not a core belief and that they will allow, um, uh, allow gay and lesbian people to, to serve and be part of the Scouts up to each individual troop in each place, um, then they've lost that constitutional argument and they could open themselves up to further lawsuits. All right, a lot more arguments will certainly be heard until they do make a decision in May. It will now be. Thanks so much for being with us, Jeff.